ship to starboard, the lookout called from the crow's nest. Where? Letty shielded her eyes against the glare. There, Mango pointed. Can't see no flag as yet. Looks like she's coming straight at us, Letty said. Jeb frowned and shrugged. Maybe she's wanting news from home, he suggested. They stood and watched as the frigate carved a relentless path towards the Ellen Rose. She's all right, Jeb put a hand on Letty's shoulder. See, she's flying the Union Jack. Jainers, Letty cried, her voice drowned out by the shout from the lookout as the jack was lowered and a red flag hoisted. Pirate ship on starboard bow, the lookout shouted. It's the Xanthi, Malachi storm ship. Get to your posts, lads, the bosun yelled. Sailors swarmed over the deck, eager to obey. Jeb grabbed Letty's arm. Get below. Go on. The governor's daughter has got to be hiding in her cabin. Rats to her. Letty snapped her fingers. That's the first place they'll look. And I'm not sitting there waiting for some pirate to come and get me. If I'm going to hide, then it'll be somewhere they won't think of. And Mango's coming with me. Sorted? Sorted, Jeb repeated. With any luck. It won't come to that. Of course it won't, Letty said, crossing her fingers. Hoist the mainsail, the bosun shouted. Captain says we'll outrun her. It's going to be all right, Mungo said. And if it's not, they don't carry no guns on the Ellen Rose. If we don't escape, there's going to be a fight. And judging by the size of the Xanthi, I don't reckon we'd win. Letty remembered the cries of pain, the blood and the smells when the bear's men fought the count and the dark ones. She thought of the boys that had slipped to their death over the side of the gorge and the terror she had felt when she was clinging to a branch suspended high above the river. She'd survived and so had Jeb and Mango. But judging by the grim faces of the crew, this time she and her friends might not be so lucky. The Ellen Rose caught the wind the ship started to gather speed. Letty's hair blew wildly. The sea spray stung her skin. But glancing over her shoulder, she saw the Gazanthi was still gaining on them. The captain gave his orders. The boatswain yelled at the crew as he recharged up and down the deck, making sure that every man was doing what he should. The crew sweated and toiled. The masks creaked and groaned under the weight of canvas. The sails billowed. But the pirate ship was catching up. Her red flag, its streak of black lightning, clearly visible as she drew closer. Get down, Jeb yelled. Mango obeyed instantly, but Letty didn't move. The gun ports on the pirate ship opened and the muzzles of the cannons, like the heads of a posse of monsters, appeared. There was a dull sound of firing and a wisp of white smoke. A hand grabbed Letty's ankle and Mango pulled her down beside him. Letty, get into the boat, he hissed. Well, what boat? The one over there, Mango pointed. Come on. Without waiting for a reply, he set off at a run towards a small boat covered with a tarpaulin. Lifting the cover, he slid inside and Letty climbed in after him. There was another burst of gunfire. We're not going to get away, Letty said. But all they'll want is the cargo, so if we can keep quiet and still. Mango nodded and moved closer, his shoulder touching hers. Muffled voices drifted into their cramped hiding place. We should surrender, Captain, the boatswain said urgently, or we'll all be killed. Never. If we fight, we don't stand a chance, a sailor groaned. They'll slit our throats, another man added. Letty pressed her lips together. Not mine, she thought, nor Mango's. There's got to be a way out of here. There must. Furl the mainsails. Hoist the white flag. Let's see if this sea wolf is ready to bargain, the captain ordered. Mango shuddered. I won't let them get you, Letty said. If they do, they'll sell me. It's not going to happen. She put her hand over his. Promise. I'll think of something. I will. 
for all that some pants, she muttered. We didn't ought to be here. This didn't ought to be happening. Mango squeezed her fingers. Fire at ship alongside, Captain, the bosun said. There was the sound of an iron hook latching onto the rail. Letty knelt up and raised a corner of the tarpaulin. Don't! Mango pulled at her skirt. They'll see us. I have to know what's going on. Letty kept as low as she could. Feet thumped and landed on the deck. There were shouts and yells, followed by the clatter of swords and pistols as the crew dropped their weapons. I am Malachi Storm, captain of the Xanthi, and I claim the Ellen Rose and any cargo she is carrying. The pirate captain's voice rang through the clamour. Thank you. And this is from Island of Fear, my new Letty Parker adventure, out at the moment.